Well, welcome back. Our celebrity guest today is a Nigerian filmmaker, director, and producer. Now, he's directed and produced several Nollywood hit movies. Back in 2005, at the maiden edition of the African Movie Academy Awards, he won three awards for, movie, uh, for the movie The Mayors, including awards for Best Picture, Best Screenplay, and Best Director. So he's a very accomplished man from Nollywood. His name is Dixon Iroibu. Let's give him a big round of applause. Hello, hello, hello. And here he comes. Hey, hey this is. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. I called that dance. Hello, guys. The, the Corona good dance. Good afternoon. <laughs> right, afternoon. Well, it's good to see you, Dixon. Yeah, good to see you. All right, so. Um, and my CV, you reeled out. You, okay. you have, <laughs> precisely. <laughs> now, what was it like winning all of the top honors at the first uh, AMA Awards? <sighs> AMA 2005 exposed me. Must have been I, a I'm dream. A, I'm a behind the camera person. That's right. Before that, that, that moment. Uh, so somehow I went to be amongst my colleagues. You know, I was invited here yeah, that I was nominated. But sitting there, they said, okay, the first, because they, they called for best, uh, best original screenplay first. Yeah. And they said the winner is Dixon Rebo. Well, yeah, I write. So, okay, fine, good. So I collected that one. But when they gave me best director because i was nominated alongside my own mentors that is uh, tado gido andy amenechi so for me i was okay with the nomination you know i was sitting forward to look out for who was going to win between these two guys and they said the winner was dixon Irebu. i said okay i almost collapsed that's the truth uh, on that stage i wept like a child because it reminded me how i started okay mm. I, I i i went through the process of um, growth in Hollywood as a, I was a production assistant and I, these men I served them I was production assistant on their sets and so winning them at that very uh, event I thought it was the greatest crowning I could get then at the end of the best director thing then the best picture award and they said the winner was Dixon Rebel then I slumped and so for me it was more like the moment that um, my career shot up there Mm. And the spotlight. What like was I have going now through was your mind uh, yes. in the build-up to when they were announcing? Did you think that your name would come up? And right after you heard your name, what did that feel no, like? I, no, w w I never imagined that my name would be called as the winner. So when I when I was announced as the winner, I thought it was a mistake, sincerely, and I took a moment to realize it wasn't a mistake. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was very humbling. The experience was very, very humbling, and. Uh, over the years, it's been a burden to ensure that I meet up to the demands. Because that moment, when they give you a, such an award, it is more like, go do more. Go do more. Yeah. People are looking out for you. And so over and over and over again, I, I have continued to look out for myself and ensuring that I get it right anytime I shoot a film. So, so what, like are the you, one, what are you working on? The one I'm doing right now. Right now. The Good Husband. <laughs> I am the good husband in town. The now. Good Husband. Yes. Okay. So Tell us about The Beautiful the Film. I, you know, the issue of marriage, okay, I have said to whoever cares to listen that God didn't set up any other thing, like, he didn't set, anything like, set up anything like church or mosque. God did establish marriage. And it doesn't matter whether it's of any tribe or of any religion. Marriage is God ordained. So for me, it's an assignment to make a film that will discuss the issue of marriage. How come suddenly, someone you walked up to and said, I love you, how come suddenly for a few, a few years together, you now start seeing each other as enemies and all of that? How come we're having the rate of divorce cases we have in our country and across the globe? How come spouses are killing themselves? So I thought, okay, make a movie about this. Discuss marriage as it should be. And then from the, you know, most times when you discuss marriage, it's told from the woman's perspective. But the head of marriage, any marriage, is the man. So I told the story from the perspective of the husband so that you, you could see that men also cry in marriage, mm. that men yeah. also have issues in marriage and all of that. And so in this film, you would see exceptional approach to the narrative around marriage because I told a story around Muslim and Christian marriage. Mm. Uh, Which can be very different. Very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And then I also told a story around 
uh, Igbo and Hausa marriage. Then also that pastors who ensure that people's homes or marriages worked, that they were also having their issues. Everybody that is married has one issue or the other. And this film captures all of those issues that people are faced with at home. So it's a beautiful F fantastic. film. Fantastic. So, so who is in this movie? I have Sam Dede in it. Uh, I have uh, Mona Lisa Chinda in it. I have uh, Francis Duro in it. I have Thelma Okodua. I have Paul Sambo. I have Victor Deka. Uh, I have lots of them. Uh, yeah. Lots of them. And Very it was intense. shot here in Abuja. It will be out in the cinemas on the 13th of November. Uh, 2020. Okay, great, fantastic. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to um, seeing the good husband. I and, hope you're a good husband. And that yeah. uh, perspective of it. I hope you're a good husband. I hope you are too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great. So, so, so Thank here you. are the rules. Uh, we, we'll put some time for you on the clock. Uh, one minute, 60 seconds to be exact. And for every question that you get right, you get to win 50 packs of CAS 3-in-1 protection to help uh, protect people from COVID-19 to any charity of your choice. Okay. So who would you give your winnings to? Okay, let me win first. Can <laughs> I win? That, then you will decide. Uh, I'll decide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fair enough. Are you ready? I am ready. Here we go. Your time begins now. The CAS 3-in-1 hand sanitizer has how many percentage of alcohol in it? A, 70%, B, 60%, C, 50%. Do I want to pass? No, but I want to know. Will you tell me? Take a guess. 50%. Uh, that's wrong, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Which of these animals is not part of the cat family? A, a cheetah, B, a wolf, C, a lion, and D, a tiger. It's my son here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me all of these. Not part of the cat family. Cheetah, wolf, lion, tiger. Three of these things belong together. Wolf. Do you remember that? Well, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> all right. How many chambers are in the heart? Does the heart have three chambers? Four chambers or five chambers? I think it should be four. Correct. What? Okay, well, your time is up, unfortunately. <laughs> you took so much time on that first question, but you were able to get two questions absolutely right. So you have won yourself 100 cast three in one protection. Thank you. For that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, interestingly, I mean, um, very quickly, I just want to give the answers to the questions that you did get wrong. The Cast 3 in 1 hand sanitizer actually has 70% wow. alcohol. 70%. Wow. And for, for any hand sanitizer to be effective against COVID 19, it has to have at least 60%. Of, right. uh, of alcohol. alcohol. Well, you got the eyelids at the last <laughs> minute, but you were just <laughs> out of time. And uh, green is not a primary color. <laughs> so uh, basically, you know, you've been a great sport and we really enjoyed having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think that one that I missed, ignore it. <laughs> we will ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Dixon Iroibu, let's give him a big Thank hand. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we will take a break. And uh, when we come back, uh, we'll give you a few tips as to how you can survive uh, COVID-19. So don't go away. We'll be right back.